All right, so the main point of this video is uh, I want to run Sig Digger uh, remotely or headless on the Pine phone, and then I'll access that from Dragon OS Vocal uh, R17 that I've got set up here. But I do have the latest Sig Digger compiled on the phone, so I'm going to need to quickly update uh, Dragon OS, which will be taken care of in the next release. While I'm talking, uh, I know there's people that are interested in SDR++. Uh, uh, compiled on the Pine phone, so you can kind of see the steps from my history over there on the left of what I uh, did to get that up and running. Big thing was I did have to make a change somewhere in here. I can't remember with the Wayland, uh, the graphics. Uh, there was two different options. I think I ended up having to select the second option when uh, I ran Pac-Man to install that. So you just have to mess with that. I have to turn the phone sideways, but then everything works. So. I'll leave those steps up here, but what we need to do is uh, open up uh, a terminal on Dragon OS Focal itself, go to the user source directory, and again I'm going to take care of this in the next release, but if we run the um, sudo dot four slash bs blsd, that's a script that runs and is going to build the latest sig digger uh, for us so that way well, everything will be matched up. Uh, the the Sig Digger, I know it says release to be built 0, .0 but it's 0 0.3.0 .0, and so everything will, will match up. While that's doing that, uh, oh and also in the, when I do fix the release I'm going to change the uh, sim links that uh, tie to the um, shortcuts here under ham radio uh, so that anytime you want to update, you just run the script and then everything will line up. Anyways, uh, while that's finishing up, we'll look, have another terminal open here on the uh, Pine phone itself. And I have uh, the Kerberos actually plugged in. I wanted to see if we could do um, four RTL SDRs at the same time. So we'll just see how this works. I know I can see it with a test. So we can see our four. Uh, devices there. We'll kill that. So what I need to see if we can do is dot forward slash. Let's see list to see the different uh, commands. So you'll see we'll run the newest um, S U S C L I because it's got that new feature T L E info. So let's try and make. Uh, profiles. We might have to mess with this a little bit. Alright, so we see it wants to skip over some that are unavailable. Let's see what happens if we run it again with this. see if we can make five profiles here including the dummy device all right take a look here again so let's see if we do dev serve uh, if equals See what we get here. So, all right, we got six profiles, and actually, let's take a look. Well, we're still waiting for Sig Digger to finish. Sources. I just want to see. Bandwidth. The bandwidth is going to be two fifty. We'll, we'll try like this and see how the Pine Phone handles all four here. 
bandwidth is not very high. So we'll start the DevServe back up on the Pine phone. And so three, four, five, and six. So we'll change into our folder here and we'll run the latest SIG digger. Changes to remote. address let's see let's see two or three turn audio off for right now fresh So we got one connection. And now keep in mind, I am connected uh, wirelessly over the Pine Phone's Wi Fi. Okay, let's do it again. Six left, five and six.
right, so I'm back. Uh, I cut out a lot of uh, just trying various different uh, things here, uh, but I'm sure if I went and grabbed a, uh, a USB hub or something and uh, plugged something else in, like a HackRF or Pluto, I could probably get a couple more instances of going here, but this is the phone here uh, wirelessly. I'm connecting to it. Uh, it's hosting the Kerberos SDR with the headless SIG digger, so all the digital signal processing is happening on the phone's end. So the phone is doing everything. I've got the sample rate uh, in both instances uh, to one. Seems to be pretty stable. Uh, the uh, CPU usage uh, let's see on the phone, not too high. Uh, it'll, it'll kick up when I turn on the audio. Let's see, we can change the frequency, of course, independently because it's two physically different radios in there. for a second. So we're controlling the radios over on the So that is SIG Digger, the headless port portion at least, running on the Pine Phone. Alright, I think that's about, that's about it. We'll try some of the more advanced new edition uh, settings you got. TLE sources and locations and uh, Doppler correction and a lot of things that have been added into the newest uh, SIG digger but I just wanted to show it's running on the Pine phone and then we're connecting to it with DragonOS Focal. Alright, thanks.